Hey, what's going on guys? Lawson with Custom Offsets. Today's video, we got another episode of Head to Head. Yeah. In today's video, I uh, brought Anthony with me. What do you What do you do here? Well, thanks man. My name is Anthony Alvarado and I'm the PR and Charities Manager. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So before we hop into it, pick up one of these t-shirts for a chance or hoodie for a chance to get entered into our current giveaway, McGoy's suspension, mm -hmm. axe wheels, amp tires. And then also if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension and or accessories, customoffsets.com and top it to it. All right. So first up on the left, we got a 1975 GMC C15, uh, Hard Rock Affliction 2414, negative 76 offset, Nitto Trail Grappler 37, 13 and a half. Not bad. On a TCS suspension lift of 12 inches. It's a double <laughs> crossover steering up front on 10 inch leaf springs, front and rear and two inch lift. <laughs> All right, so now that Banker uh, rudely interrupted our video, we're gonna hop back into this. So as I was saying, it does have a 12 inch lift. Uh, it's a double crossover steering up front on 10 inch leaf springs front and rear and two inch lift blocks in the rear. No rubbing, no scrubbing, cause it's huge. It also has two inch spacers in the front and rear. Custom two-tone paint job. It does look pretty mean, to be honest. All black, everything. Yeah. Well, it's actually like a maroon. Oh, it's just it's, in this. So in that shot. Yeah. All right. I like the maroon. So in the dark, it's like mar it's black, but in the sunlight, it's like a maroon. Yeah. So we'll look at a couple pictures here, and then we'll show the right that oh, custom it's got that, that two tone. That two tone on. is. Sick. Yep. I do like the choice of wheels. All right. On the right, we got a 1977 Ford F150 uh, sitting on alloy ion style 171s and a 16 by 10 negative 38 BF Goodrich All Terrain TA KO2s mm. and a 315. 75 and a rough country suspension lift of four inches uh no rubbing no scrubbing no trimming no spacers and that's pretty much it for the details so not a ton of extra goodies to talk about but hopping into some photos got more of that classic feel yeah it does it does that like you could hop in and drive in anywhere yeah right and this thing is extremely clean yeah now, this is gonna be tough yeah you this got is a 1977 you got a 1975 it's a tough choice on the same era i think i know which one i'm gonna pick though so you let me know when you're ready all right three two one life oh. i was gonna yeah. pick i was literally <laughs> about to pick right and then you had me circle back through these photos on the left and i was like Oh man, I don't yeah. know. I almost did the same thing to be honest with you. Yeah. But, I mean, to be fair, I mean, I like the classic feel. It reminds me of my dad's truck. Yeah. So that's why I would pick that. Absolutely. And, and he, you know, would love that truck. So in his honor, I would ride that out any day. This is why it was so hard because I know I'm probably going to get told in the comments how I didn't pick the classic truck on the <laughs> 16 by 10s and I was so close to picking it. Even with the classic two-tone, right. you know, the 16 by 10s, the old school mm -hmm. feel. The amount of work that was put into this, but at the same time, <laughs> it's like huge and that's what I'm all about. I don't know. It's such a hard choice. That was already a good one. First one was already a good one. Let's hop in the next one. Sweet. All right, so hopping into the next one. On the left, we got a 2015 Toyota Tundra uh, sitting on Hard Rock Crusher H704s and a 2015. 20 by 10, negative 19, Nitto Terra Grappler G2s and a 275 55 and Bilstein leveling kit. I do dig this hard rock crusher wheel. Mm -hmm. I've always been a fan. Yeah. Bilstein leveling kit. It does rub, no trimming. So that's why it rubs, no spacers. Pretty simple. Looks like it's got some pretty cool paint. I'm guessing it's yeah, like, like one of Toyota's factory, weird factory colors. Right. In that orange. Copper, orange yeah. kind of feel. And I don't know if it's just because of the way that these photos are edited or if it's like based on shadows and like right. the sunlight, it might be a little more darker, almost black-like. And then in the sun, though. it's like orange, yeah. Pretty clean, like daily driver build. Yeah. I, I do dig it. On the right, we got a 2017 Nissan Titan XD, Archon Off-Road Crown Series Victories in a 2614, negative 81, Fury Off-Road Country Hunter RTs in a 3513 and a half. That's right, Fury does make tires other than a mud train. <laughs> uh, rough Country Suspension Lift of six inches. Six 
inch lift and some 26s is pretty rowdy. Uh, no scrubbing, no rubbing, major metal trimming because, well, Nissan tight. And uh, no spacers in the front and rear. Six by 14s okay. and 35s, but yeah, with a Toyota, you do have to do quite a bit of trimming. You got yours? I do. All right, three, two, one, right. Oh, we're, we're different all, today. We're, we're different today. Each other. We're all over the place today. All right, why'd you pick left? I mean, I just, I like the darker feel. I like the paint job. I mean, it could be the pictures, like you said. Yeah. But ultimately, you know, with those black wheels, it's more my style. Um, plus, I've always liked the Tundra, so that's yeah, what I would go with. Absolutely. I picked the right just because, one, the style, the 2614s. I mean, literally, mm -hmm. I want 2614s right now. Fury has always been a great tire. Yeah. The suspension, I probably want to go on with uh, Rough Country suspension lift personally. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it does look like he did go in and do some powder coating on the suspension to really bring it to life. Yeah. And obviously, Archon wheels are super sick. We all love our Archon wheels. I, I just think this fits my overall feel at this point in my life when I just want to build <laughs> everything to the sky. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. I can see you driving that for sure. Yeah. All right. On the left, ho, ho, 2017 Ram 2500 RBP Forge Zion 28 by 16 and a negative 101 Comforcer CF 3000 42 by 15 and a half inch tires and Plan B Fab lifted greater than 12 inches. No rubbing, no scrubbing. Obviously, because it's huge. No mm -hmm. trimming, no spacers. Fusion bumpers, RBP custom grill, two sets of Katrina series horn blaster, train horns, retracts, bed cover, custom wet sound system. Uh, so he's got like the speakers in the yeah. back. Road wire seats, uh, BD diesel performance mods. He's also got some custom Jeez. headlights as well. And well, things just, yeah, it looks like he's got the blue suspension. He's also got the blue in his custom right. headlights. Uh, and then also sitting on like that, like crazy, like mm -hmm. copper on yeah, the I whole like truck. It. Pretty sick. But this next one is also pretty sick. Uh, 2018 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD on the right. We got Got KG1 Forge Bounty 26 by 16s, negative 101 offset. Fury Off Road Country Hunter MTs and a 38, 15 and a half, and a McGoy suspension lift of nine inches. So okay. just, a, just a little bit smaller, but it looks like a lot of attention to detail. Also does have the McGoy's upper control arms, which I bought and I love them. I'm yep. glad that I did. You see, mm -hmm. no rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming, no spacers. That's pretty much all that he has as far as details go. Literally has everything done. He's got custom headlights, mm -hmm. he's got the grill, he's got the tow hooks, maybe factory fender flares. If not, probably put those on. He's also got the McGoy's track bars, powder coated everything. He's yeah. got like the notorious desert photo, which I it's insane. want There's, so bad on my truck. Yeah, <laughs> I want I want a desert photo so bad. Uh, diff cover, painted axles or powdered axles, rear bumper. Uh, mm, looks mm. like the uh, bed covers custom. Looks like he's got custom interior stuff. So although he doesn't have it listed, there's just yeah. as much work put yeah. into this. It's just not as huge as, yeah, this one's gonna be tough. as the Ram. So they both got a lot of work in for sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is life or death. <laughs> or okay. Death. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one. Left. Right. All right. We're gonna go against each other all yeah. day. All day it looks like. This was the hardest one yet because <laughs> I I love my Furies. I love my Magoy suspension and like he's got all that done and then some and uh, right. I don't know, man. I just plus you dived into the details. I'm surprised you went on the left. What made you choose that? Because this truck has everything that I want. <laughs> he's got the 42s. He's got the 28s. Right. He's got a Plan B. Fab. So you get the dream a little bit. Yeah, you get yeah. the dream a little bit. I yeah, see as it. far as like the dream goes, I think everyone <laughs> follows Plan B. Fab, and everyone wants a greater than 12 inch lift. Everyone wants to be on 22 inch <laughs> lift with 42s and 28s. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Which you can get at custommuscles.com. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's I've had a Silverado before, so I think the comfort level there, uh, I love the drive that truck, you yep. know what I'm saying? So I like the stance. It's not really the color scheme that I would pick. Um, yeah. You know, I'm not too, you know, privy on all the all the truck information and all the details here. But even with that, you know, if I were just my gut instinct, uh, maybe it was the photos, the desert yeah. photo they got yeah. me. But um, I'd definitely go with the Chevy. Oh, so all right. right here. <laughs> Here we go. 1994 Chevy Blazer, uh, Extreme Force XF5s and a 22 by 12, negative 44. Mm. Um, Comforcer CF3000, literally the same tire that was on that Ram yep. in the last round. Yep. Uh, 35, 12 and a half, and a custom suspension lift of eight inches. It says his lift is custom. So he's got custom solid axle swap on third gen Dodge axles. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty crazy. No rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming, no spacers. He does have a 5.3 LS swap. Got built trans, cammed, uh, custom exhaust, black widow race mm -hmm. venoms mm -hmm. with four inch rolled tips. Full shaved handles and gas cap and chop top. Uh, stay tuned for paint and body work. 
stay tuned for paint and body work next. Yeah, Let's definitely send that, send that to us when, when that's done because sure. I definitely want to see this thing. Pretty rowdy. Yeah, definitely unique for yeah, sure. It's the super top and everything. Super unique. Yeah. All right, next up on the right, we got a 1995 Ford Bronco American Trucks AT166 and a 22 by 14. Negative 76 Fury Off-Road Country Hunter MTs and a 33, 14 mm. and a half. That's pretty, pretty unique size mm -hmm. right there that mm -hmm. you got going on there with the tire. BDS suspension lift of four inches. Uh, it does rub, he says. It rubs. Minor metal trimming and it still rubs. Mm. Passenger side rubs in reverse really bad. He does have two inch spacers in the front and that still doesn't help. Yikes. Take a look at some photos of the Bronco. I definitely dig like that cream color, mm -hmm. even like the two tone with the topper. All right, I think I know which one. All right, three, two, one, right. Right in. I was gonna go with the right, but last minute decision, left. I like this chops, you know, chop top. Also wanna see that new paint job yeah. and everything else. Um, I've never owned a convert like a convertible. But, yeah, you know, I mean, and then to see it on a blazer. Truck, I mean, come yeah, on, man. yeah, that'd be that's sick. pretty sick, right? I definitely dig the extreme forces on the left. I do dig like all the extra work put into yeah. it. Even with that custom extra work, I still have always been like a Bronco body over a blazer body. Sure. Like I said, I've been pretty spoiled to not only you know, film and watch Junior's black Bronco come to life, but now right. to see us planning for his next white one, <laughs> like to see the, a custom Bronco every single day, I think that's what has made me fall more and more in love. Cause when he first did his black yeah. one, I wasn't huge on it. I was like, eh. this is not like your yeah. typical Bronco. You're starting to see him pop up and maybe that's just my eye seeing oh, him yeah. more just because I've been seeing his all over the place. Yeah, I love I love the Ford Bronco. I think what got me is the rub. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That reverse rub action. Oh, man. I wasn't really into that. <laughs> I got, a, I got a NorCal, I got trimming on the bumper, and I still rub, and that's totally fine. <laughs> All right, guys, that's what we got for you guys on today's episode of Head to Head. Thank you, and thank you for stopping out. Yeah, thank and you being so much this. for having me, man. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, customoffsets.com. Also, if you guys want us to ever look at your truck, you got to add to our gallery, mm -hmm. customoffsets.com forward slash add. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.